Okay, before we get started, there are two things I am going to promise you about this fucking movie. First is, you're going to watch it and be fucking depressed because there is nothing good in this fucking movie at all. And the second thing is, you're going to fucking love it. Welcome to Happy Wax TV. God damn, I, I'm, I can't promise you that I'm not going to say something that might be spoilerish in this review. So if you just want to click it off, go for it because I, I make no promises because you know how I am when I start rambling on about something. But I will give it a rating right now. I'm going to give it a fucking eight. I don't hand out many high numbers, but I'll tell you, man, this movie is a must see. Do not pass this movie up. It is fucking fantastic. It's called The Dark and the Wicked. And I mean, I've seen a lot of, and again, this really isn't spoilers because if you watch the trailer, you have a, you know, some sort of a gist of what's going on, but it's like a demonic movie, right? Like not, I wouldn't really call it demonic possession. It's like, I think I would compare it kind of to Remember the movie The Entity back in the day? I think it came out in like the 80s, maybe early 90s. I love that fucking movie just because it wasn't a possession style movie. It was just about the devil, you know, coming after this woman. Or it wasn't even the devil. It was just the spirit. But here in this movie, you know, they, they think it's the devil. But it's just, it's just how it affects this family. And it was rel relentless because of the, the not only the what you see on screen, but... The, the, the musical score as well that they use. And it's the same thing with this movie. Now, this isn't as intense as The Entity, but goddamn, I'm, I'm telling you, you know me, I'm all about pacing for movies, okay? I'm always pacing, pacing, pacing. This is a perfectly paced movie. It's a slow burn, but every once in a while, Brian uh, Bentino, who, who wrote it and directed, directed it, throws in, you know, some subtle scares here and there, but it's just... It's, it's paced perfectly. Every scene in this movie means something. You have to watch this movie. You can't take your eyes off the screen in this movie at all. Not necessarily because you might miss something, but it's just, it's just because every scene needs to be watched. Do you know what I mean? And every scene that he shoots, almost every scene that he shoots, it's, it's like there's another, like the entity is in that room with them, whether it's the, the sister or the brother or you know, the mom in the kitchen or the dad when he's in the bedroom, you know, let me get to the fucking synopsis and then I'll get back into that. On a secluded farm in a nondescript rural town, a man is slowly dying. His family gathers to mourn and soon a darkness grows, marked by waking nightmares and a growing sense that something evil is taking over the family. Okay, that's that's the, the uh, you know, kind of this movie in a fucking nutshell. It's like the, the, the father is dying. And you know what is fantastic about this movie? is we're never really given any reason why this, this entity is here doing this to this family. It just, it just picks up where the dad is dying. He's on his, his deathbed, right? And he's in the house. He can't really be moved or he'll die. It's, you know, so he's got like a nurse that, that watches him. And then the, his wife has been nursing him at night and stuff like that. And then the, the, the son and the daughter come, you know what I mean? When he's, when he's close to death, you know, just to, to, see him one last time and, and pay their respects and stuff. And, and I'm telling you, like right from the first fucking scene, like the, every, every, every shot in this movie is eerie. And you, you just, you get this sense that this, this being is in the room with one of the family members at all times. In fact, he even goes so far as to kind of shoot it like how they did in the invisible man, Lee Winnell's invisible man, where like the main character is like off, off center. So it opens up the other side of the room. A lot of the times giving you that impression or that feeling that something is actually in the room with these people or a specific person and the, and the fucking, the sets in this place, like this house where they found it and the way it is set up, like the house itself is fucking creepy. It's just, Oh man, it's fucking fantastic. And the score of this movie, listen, the best way to watch this movie is first of all, fully immerse yourself in it. Okay, don't have any distractions around you. Watch it in the dark. And I, I, you know, have the lights off. I hope you have a big screen TV, not that you need it, but just be fully focused on the TV. And I hope you have a good sound system because like I said, every scene in this movie is, is, 
part of this movie. There's no fucking filler in this movie at all. It was fantastic. And the sounds, like the sound department should win something for this movie because it was fantastic. The noises that this house makes or, you know, the noises that, that occur when this entity is, is nearby, like it's and the noises that it makes, like it's, God damn, man. There was a couple scenes in this movie where I had goosebumps so bad that I almost had, like I did in one point, had uh, tears welling up on my, <laughs> it's like, what? But you have to fully immerse yourself into this movie. If you watch this movie while you're making dinner or out with, you know, in the daytime and kind of only half ass paying attention to it, you will not appreciate what's on the screen. So I'm telling you, lights off, fully immerse yourself in this fucking movie, in the dark, sound up, and you will fucking love this flick. I promise you that. It's it's just, it's a slow burn. He doesn't use jump scares to fucking scare you. There are a couple in here, but just the overall general creepiness of this fucking movie works. And the other thing is the acting. Marilyn Ireland is Louise, and Michael Abbott Jr. is Michael. They're the brother and sister. Actually, everybody in this fucking movie kills it. Alexander Berkeley, who plays the priest, creepy as fuck. Um, Julie Oliver Touchstone is the mother. Fan creepy as fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, I'll tell you, I loved this fucking movie. Okay. I don't, I, again, you know what? I might just stop here. Okay. Cause I don't want to get into it too much. Cause I, I honestly don't want to give spoilers, but it's just, it's relentless, but it's not like, like just <laughs> in your face relentless. It's just like slow burn and you know shit's gonna happen but you don't know kind of when or how it's just it's just well fucking done uh, do you know what i mean and i'll tell you, i'll be honest i'm gonna end here okay I, i'm gonna be honest when i sat down to watch this this is by brian uh, bertino who also directed the strangers i think that was in 2008 that was a good movie i did watch his movie the monster that i think came out it was 2017 or 2018 i appreciated what he tried to do there I didn't appreciate that movie, though. I didn't really care for it. It wasn't a bad movie. I just didn't hit the mark for me, right? So when I sat down, I thought, okay, do you know what I mean? I, I, we'll see how this goes, right? I'm telling you, man, his game is, is just on the way up. I want to see more from this guy now because he fucking killed it in this movie. This is like, I don't know. <laughs> I fucking loved it, okay? You might, you might compare it a little bit to Hereditary, Maybe a bit, do you know what I mean? But I don't, it's just, it stands on its own. Uh, yeah, you can pick little scenes from here and there out of other movies, but just the way he pieced it together, and there is not one scene in this movie that does not fucking need to be in this movie. It was it was fantastic. Editing is, is fantastic. The score is fantastic. The cinematography is fantastic. The overall story, it just, it all fucking works. I'm giving it an eight. I'm gonna stop there. Guys, if you haven't seen this yet, do yourself a fucking favor. I highly recommend this movie. It's called The Dark and the Wicked. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it, okay? And if you haven't, please do yourself a fucking favor. I'm telling you, dark room right in front of your fucking TV with hopefully a killer sound system up so you can hear every fucking noise, every fucking creak with no distractions, fully immerse, and you will fucking love this movie. I promise you that. So anyways, Dark and the Wicked, it is out now. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. If you haven't, please go rent it, watch it, come back here, let me know what you think, guys. And until next time, stay scared.